Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you guys so much for the love and the continued support of this channel. Today's video is going to be my current obsessions. Yes, these are the five fragrances that I just cannot seem to stop wearing. I don't know, I feel like when you get something new into your collection, you just go ham with it, you're obsessed with it, and that's just kind of <laughs> my life right now. So without further ado, let's get right into the scents that currently just have me in a chokehold, honey. Let's go. So the first one is, what do I want to start with? A designer scent, y'all. Y'all didn't tell me about Dolce Garden being so dang delicious. Oh my God. Like, I don't think I've been this captivated by a designer fragrance, like straight out of, you know, the shelves of Sephora fragrance um, since like LaBelle. And this thing, I just happened to spray on. And when I tell you I was sniffing my arm like a bloodhound for the remainder of the day. Dolce Garden has the most beautiful coconut notes. And that is what is doing it for me. This to me is not a fruity floral. This to me is a floral gourmand. I mean, it is full on gourmand on my skin. So... For me, scents that have an almond note, I'm starting to see a pattern. If there's like an almond note and there isn't anything like a milk note or a coconut, something like tonic to, um, to, to support that almond, I don't like it on my skin. I tried um, Marc Jacobs Perfect and each, I, I think I tried it three times. Each time it was a no. It reminded, it literally smelled like a can of nuts, like roasted nuts on my skin. It, it, it's got to have like an almond milk or like, like I said, something like tonic. And then I'm obsessed, like rolling in love, obsessed. Um, hypnotic poison, I don't get, like it's just, it's just a bitter, like a nutty vibe. It's not milky almondy on me anyway. And so that's why I couldn't get with that one either. But I'm starting to see, honey, the almond in here. Oh my God. It is so sweet. And the coconut is so, oh, it is beautiful. This, the name is very misleading. Um, Garden. I don't know, but this is like the, like summer, like the spring, summer. Like, look at the dent. Look at the dent and y'all, I'm ashamed to say like, I only had this for like a week and I've just been going ham. Even if it's not my sin of the day, you better believe it's gonna be my sin of the evening. And so I come home and I go ham um, and that's why the dent is this big. I am in love with this fragrance. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good, I just love it. It's blended beautifully. I feel like if this was, mm, if this was like a Georgia, like I would pay the money. Like that's how good I feel like this is. This is beautiful, beautiful scent. If you've not smelled it and see for the longest, this bottle, when I would see this support, like I would just be, I didn't like it, but I like it now. It looks so cute on my vanity. Um, But yeah, definitely obsessed. If you haven't smelled it, drop by your local Ulta Sephora, whoever has it, get your nose on it, spray it on your skin because it dries down to the most dreamy, like coconut, fruity, floral, mm, sweet gourmand. And it is just stunning. Again, <laughs> Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, so the next one is Honey, Love to Rolls by Amouage and... I have been looking for Amouage, like obsessing, trying different ones, but that these, the scents from this house are very challenging. Um, if you're a beginner to niche, do not go near the house. <laughs> 
because your nose is not ready, I'm telling you now. My nose is still not ready for a majority of the scents, but this one, oh my God. This is the most beautiful tuberose I think that I have in my collection. And I'm starting to amass quite a bit of tuberose fragrances. Um, Very like buttery tuberose, not at all sharp, not too heady, not like that stiff, harsh white tuber it's not like that at all it's very creamy buttery and it's also got a i think a milk note in here um and a whipped cream it's like a whipped cream note and so it comes across very marshmallowy powdery marshmallowy tuberose with um you know like a, a prominent vanilla and it's gorgeous stunning let me tell you, the beauty in this is the dry down. This thing dries down to something sweet and amazing. This is a white floral that is not going to be all putting to anyone. It is not at all overly mature. It is beautiful. It's not overly sweet like um, Killian's, what is it? Rolling in Love is a lot sweeter than say this one. This one, I feel like Mm, you can wear this year round. It's beautifully blended. It's not super challenging. Like this is going to be a white floral tuberose that are for the people that are not into tuberose or white florals. I'm telling you, this is beautiful. And if you're on the fence about trying it, go ahead and try it. It is stunning and will be a repurchase like seriously as soon as this is done i'm getting another because i am in love and obsessed <laughs> again that is love two bros but i'm wash okay so let me tell you i i did not even plan on buying this one had never heard of it and i'm up here watching Miss Erin Nicole TV Chow, and she brought out this Sublime Vanille by Creed. And this is from the Creed private line. The it's, I think it's like Le Royals exclusive. Like they're, this is the first one that they released from their private line. And it is beautiful. <laughs> I just talked about this one on my unique vanillas video. Well, I don't know the order of the upload. Maybe this video comes out first, but this is a unique vanilla. Um, this is citrusy, but it's not like that overly bright, um, tangy, like it's not a citrus like that. And it's very airy. It's very, um, very reminiscent of Lyra in my opinion. And because Lyra has that, you know, that vanilla, that uh, blood orange, the, you know, the whole citrus vanilla vibe, they're going to remind you of each other. But if I'm smelling them both, Lyra is just full on gourmand. This is a lot heavier. Um, I would wear Lyra in the warmer months, but I can see where a Lyra would be just too sweet and two gourmand for spring and summer, just depending on where you live. Um, this one, perfect vanilla for the warm weather. That's the thing about this one. Um, look at the presentation. Can we just please, please take a moment, okay? <laughs> it's got, you can't see it on the camera really, but it's got like, this is gold painted, okay? This medallion, it has the Creed emblem here, and it's a 10 karat gold medallion. Then you've got the silver detail on the top and the Creed uh, emblem there again. And it is a gorgeous bottle, just the bottle, but this is very expensive. And the performance, like this is a very like airy citrus vanilla and musk. So this is not going to last more than like three or four hours. I'm telling you, you're going to have to top it off. So when you look at the price online, you're probably not going to think it's worth the price point, honestly, but it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful scent. I am obsessed. 
And just, you know, if this is on your radar, be patient because I got this for like 250 bucks when normally look, looking at the price at Neiman's is 560 for this size. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is like, this is going to be my summer go-to. Like there are not a lot of vanillas that are going to work for really hot weather because a lot of, if, when they're straight, like a very prominent vanilla, they're going to be really sweet usually. They're going to be a lot heavier. Some are a little cloying. Some are just not appropriate for, you know, hotter weather. And that is why I'm in love with this one. Um, just looking at everything that I'm bringing out with these current obsessions, I'm obviously in the state of mind for spring <laughs> because these are all very um, spring, summer, fruity, floral, pretty much just. Like the weather in Atlanta is so erratic right now. We have, you know, we wake up, it's 36 degrees. <laughs> By the time it's two o'clock PM is 70 degrees. Like the weather is absolutely insane. And so you just, whatever you feel like grabbing to put on is what you, is good because either way you're going to experience some extreme weather temperature is crazy right now. But anyway, Back to my sense. The next one that I have been obsessed with is a trap revs by Louis Vuitton. People, beautiful, fruity patchouli. That is what this is. Um, it's so beautiful. It's got like rose. If I'm not, let me read the notes. Let me let me not even try to guess the notes. Let me read them off to you. Okay, so this opens with lychee, ginger, and bergamot. You're not going to get a really loud and strong ginger, but the lychee, definitely there. Definitely, like, that is the, the best part of this, is that beautiful lychee. The middle notes, you have peony, uh, cacao, and Turkish rose. You definitely get the beautiful rose. Um, you do not get the cacao. So if you're one that is not, you know, with the chocolate notes in your fragrances, you do not have to fear because you don't even pick up on that. I think it lends a very slight powdery quality to it. And that's about all you get as far as the chocolate. Um, and you have patchouli in the base and the patchouli is one that is not offensive to me because I'm very patchouli sensitive. Anyone that has watched my content is very well aware of that. This is just a beautiful, fresh, fruity scent, grounded wonderfully with patchouli. I feel like this is one um, that's gonna be a stunner for daytime. But if you wanted to wear this out, mm, I wouldn't say like date night, but if you wanted to wear this out like to dinner, the patchouli is quite grounding. So it's not gonna be anything like overly sweet, youthful, too bright. It's not like that, it's fresh, um, very sophisticated and just a well done fruity, floral scent. Highly recommend you trying this line out in general. Louis Vuitton has some beautiful fragrances, but honey, as you can see, the obsession, the dense, like it's, it's very real. It's very real in my household. And I just love the color of the juice. It looks so beautiful on my vanity. Love it. Again, that is a trap revs by Louis Vuitton. Okay. And this last current obsession is Amber Nui. Let me tell you, I had posted on my Instagram stories. Um, oh my God, you can't see. Well, y'all know what these little Christian, uh, Christian Dior bottles look like. Amber Nui, I posted, like I, I couldn't decide, do I want to wear Amber Nui to my friend's birthday party or did I want to wear, I think Angelique Moore was the other one. And y'all had me pick Amber Nui and thank you because this was the perfect, scent for that evening as soon when I tell you as soon as I walked in the door first friend I saw I hugged and she was just like oh her eyes closed okay she's like oh my god you smell so good thank you boo I was like yes I made the right decision I mean what can I say Amber Nui is one of the most beautiful amber fragrances um very like it's got this sparkling quality to it and so for me I just feel like you can wear this year round I think this will shine 
in the winter and you know fall like the cooler weather just because it's amber i mean you know but there's this sweetness to it there is this very you know slightly spicy quality to it but it's something bright about this i don't know what what it is or why but it is oh my god i'm obsessed <laughs> obsessed i feel like this is a wonderful date night fragrance evening i feel like men absolutely need this in their collection but this is an amber where i feel like women if you're afraid of those like amber like heavy amber prominence like try this one out because this is like the most perfect unisex amber that i've put my nose on like so far like i really don't see how anyone could think this leans overly masculine unless you just have it in your head that you know amber is <laughs> is is more of a masculine note um you know just like lavender is usually masculine but mongrelon they pulled it off i feel like amber nui like they they put off an amazingly um gender fluid scent this is just a stunner and the next bottle will absolutely be the big you know big size because this it's not like, please, I'm, I'm trying not to like use it all up because I haven't had it that long and it's already got a little dent. And so I'm obsessed with Amber Nui. Like it is my, it is a love. Like all of these are loves for me. And I mean, declutter, I might as well throw these boxes away because I am never going to declutter them. I'm never going to sell them. They are all like tens for me. I love them. I love, love, love them. All right, you guys. So that is our video for today. Let me know three fragrances in the comments that you are currently just obsessed with that you cannot get enough. Like you just, you if you ain't wearing it, you at least got to sniff the cap. Like that's what these are for me. So I want to know what are your three current obsessions. You guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that notification bell is turned on for all notifications. <laughs> and make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as it definitely helps this channel to grow. You guys, it has been real. I have enjoyed this time with you all, but I hope to catch you on the next one.